Good day to all the citizens of the Zeitland Republic, esteemed leaders of the world and members of the international community. As you are probably aware by now, yesterday we declared the Republic of Zeitland an independent nation, now with almost 12,000 registered citizens. I hope that you have had the time to read the Declaration of Independence that we published yesterday. I would like to take this opportunity to explain a couple of things in terms of the Declaration. The noble dream of Nelson Mandela, pre-1994, for all race groups living in harmony on the southern tip of Africa, with equality for all, affirmed in a Bill of Rights as the cornerstone of democratic values and of human dignity, equality and freedom. This dream was very short-lived and has given way to Afrocentric hatred and domination. Astute and pragmatic individuals, governments and organizations around the world have increasingly become aware of the plight of Southern African minority groups, the human rights violations, state capture, the extent of the growing corruption and the lack of willingness and ability by so-called liberation governments to uphold the rule of law, their governing constitutions and the inability to protect their citizens. So firstly, we are all aware of the international legal requirement for statehood. We also know what does and does not initiate conflict. Conflict that we expressly do not want to bring upon our people at all costs. Therefore, the requirement for a defined territory, although implied, has not yet been defined. This we will do at a later stage and through a democratic process. Secondly, there are many individuals and organizations that will try to degrade and belittle what we as the citizens of the Zeitland Republic are doing for our people. Our aim now is in the immediate future to build our nation, build structures, extend our government. And we have already started by putting in place our independent audit committee to ensure that all of our structures, from governing to finance, monetary policies, etc., fall in line with international standards and accountability at every level of governance. The right to self-determination is a cardinal principle in the modern international law, in its aim of ensuring global peace and stability. The United Nations Charter states that a people based on respect for the principle of equal rights and fair equality of opportunity have the right to freely choose their sovereignty and international political status with no external interference. The current anomaly of the Southern African democratic processes allows ethnic minorities no such rights or practice or reasonable philosophy. As the people hold the power to direct their organized governance, the people likewise retain the power to withdraw their mandate to govern and to abolish illegitimate governance forced upon them. We, the people of the Zeitland Republic, an ethnic minority people endemic to the Southern African subcontinent, have on the 6th of April 2019 declare and demand our inalienable and universal right to life, liberty and freedom as bestowed upon our people by our eternal creator who has ordained and set our boundaries which we shall claim in time. We oppose and resist any continued effort, expense or conspiracy to keep our people perpetually chained and imprisoned to past injustices and future hopes of Afrocentric domination. We request at this place in time and history, and for the sake of our people, that the Assembly of Nations will, 
without prejudice to our identity and in respect of our sovereignty as a nation, recognize our intention and will towards our own independence. Our independence and sovereignty as a people is for security and freedom of this generation, of our ethnic minorities and our posterity, enabling them to freely pursue our historical and their future right to self-determination as a sovereign people, equal amongst many other freedom-loving nations across the world. We ask freedom-loving nations and peoples of the world to stand in solidarity with our cause and recognize that for many decades we have, as ethnic minorities, endured the denigration of our languages, cultures and heritage by Afrocentric masses dead set on revenge as a method to rectify injustices of the past. Therefore, we know today that we have claimed national sovereignty and independence as a people and nation on the 6th day of April 2019. And that resolve of our people from here onward, as it has been for many decades now, is to free us from the shackles of allegiance to any other hostile and artificial government that may have been imposed upon us by colonial powers or Marxist democratic liberal ideology. We shall never again subject our dignity, our identity and character as a nation to reconciliation and restorative justice by Marxist and ethnocentric masses. We shall defend this liberty and unity we have created in perpetuity and posterity. We seek peaceful relations and coexistence with all other freedom-loving nations of the world, and we recognize such nations in their endeavors and their freedoms. In God we trust.